stuff on here, but um, August has been pretty steady, you know. It's had its ups and downs, you know, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to August and the fall, the rest of August, and what, we, what we'll have in this fall. And uh, fingers crossed this new COVID thing doesn't shut everything down again, but we will see. Time will tell. But anyways, out here again, pulling the lures. Got them out there doing their thing, doing their dance, trying to catch a sword-faced fish, one of them marlin. Right. 
the force is being held on the bill. You know, there's a certain bite, obviously, if they come up behind it like this. Yeah, you could button one pretty good with a, with a double hook rig sometimes. So they do work for some people, but in my, in how I look at it and, and in, you know, the time, all the marlin fishing I've done, I've not had any success with the double hook rigs. I've done way better with a single hook rig. So I like to use a single hook and I like to put it as far back in the skirt as IGFA legal. So IGFA says, right, that the eye of the hook has to be in the skirt strands. So I like to have it just that far back, like, you know, almost illegal, you know, pretty far back, which you think, well, well, the fish might be able to see it. They don't, they don't know what a hook is. And if your lure is running right, I don't think it's really gonna matter. Um, I think the action is gonna trump that. They're not gonna really see the hook and get, and get shy, you know. And now I also have to press in that we're talking about blue marlin here. Um, tuna, I would do a different hook rig, all right? You know, if you're looking for ahis and stuff, they're usually eating up closer to the head. You wanna have that hook really close to the head, but if we're talking blue marlin, I want that hook super far back. I like using a single hook. I like a, I really like the Tantrum X hooks. I think they're the best stuff out there right now, the Fudo ones. Um, Fudo also does make some other really good hooks. But for me, the tantrums have been great. I like the 10-0s and the 11-0s. Pretty much running almost 10-0s solely on everything. I feel like it's a super strong hook. And uh, I just feel like it's, it's, it's really sharp and it drives really good. So I like using that. I make all my hook rigs stiff with a heat shrink. I use a special heat shrink that is really tight, how it binds down and it's really smooth. I don't like that real gummy fat stuff. I don't want my hook rig to be all fat and bulky. I want it to be smooth and super, uh, super smooth transition. So basically if I grab it with my hand, I should be able to just run it all the way to the hook and not have any type of snag in there at all. It should just be very smooth. Um, and I like this heat shrink because it, it becomes super slippery. It almost feels like a glass the way that, that this shrink binds around and on your crimps and everything, it pulls it in super tight, makes the transition just like perfect through the mouth. So I really like that. The other thing about that heat shrink is it will break, it won't bend, eventually it will break. So if you're fighting a fish for a super long time, it'll break by the hook, and then your hook will be able to pivot and move. That's what I'm using on my bullets and my long riggers. On my, sh on my shorts, on my corners, I have a hook rig that I've designed that's um, still kind of in the, prototype phase I'm still working on it and I will make it available to people once I've really worked it out and I'm confident in it and I have everything dialed in but the basic theory of it is a is a hook rig that uh, stays extremely stiff and then at a certain time will then become free and allow allow a little bit more movement and, and less pulled hooks um, and uh, yeah it's something I've, I've had success with but it's it's definitely has some tweaks here and there I gotta work on and I really wanna put the time in and pull, pull some numbers in a notebook before I really make anyone, uh, before I make it available or put it out there or do anything with it, whether I even do anything with it. But that's what I like to use. I like to use those single hooks. I like to have them far back in the skirt, keep them super sharp. Um, um, seems to be working uh, right now at least. I'll let you know if we change anything up, but uh, Try it out, tight lines, keep your hook sharp, um, and uh, don't stress, you're gonna lose fish. That's how it goes, marlin fishing. With lures, you're gonna lose fish. It's just how it is, it's not, there's no, no one's catching it 100%. So, um, yeah, just get out there, do what you gotta do, you catch them. Um, well, I hope that helps. Hopefully we can go catch another one here right now. All right.
I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We still in at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostile, trying to flip it off the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody know. Watch him take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. 100 miles per hour, I might crash, cause a good die young. Did a good die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest, write my name in the stone. Write my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Write my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back home. Cause I know my people needed me Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me Go down as a legend in my city Cause we beat the streets Trying to spread the wealth around the block No, I can't keep from me Tell me I should leave What's up, I see the bigger so, picture and it's way bigger than me She just jumped on off here Uh, had it on for a second or a couple seconds Four or five seconds came off You know, we went, we missed two yesterday We're now over one It's like about 8.30 in the morning So, you know, it's easy to let that stuff get to you guys Get to you get to you and like you get in a freaking like a funky mood and get angry start changing things or messing with your crack or whatever but I just feel like it's important to just stay with your system that works and just just take it on the chin like you know it, if we if we end up if, if you keep missing fish and the number starts to really soar something something's going on right but a couple here a couple there's just sometimes it's just how it is how they're feeding and you might just be be going through a, a, a streak, you know, and it'll change, and you'll go through a streak where you catch them all, and you think you're the best fisherman ever, and then you'll go through a streak where you can't catch any of them, and you think you're terrible. So it's just, I think it's important when it's like that, just like stick with your guns. You know what works, right? You know, I think it's easy to dip, just start going down that rabbit hole of starting to change everything around and messing with the drags and doing this thing that, you know make minor adjustments if, if they're feeding a certain way right you know but going and changing everything up um, you're just kind of you're, you're chasing chasing the, the, the rabbit hole there so we're gonna stick with what we what we do what seems to work and we're gonna stick the next one stay positive That's how it is you're gonna miss fish blue marlin fishing with lures if you, if you don't want to miss fish and lose fish and don't pull lures you know but don't put hooks in them so it's what it is. Anyways, just gonna stick with our guns. We're gonna find one here soon. It's gonna be the one that matters. It's gonna be a big one. It's gonna stick. We're gonna catch it. Everything will be good and we'll forget that we missed three fish. That's how it goes. Blue Marlow fishing. going on here down in the zone pretty much most of the day finally got one to come in and eat um, yeah Let's see what we can do
this thing around. And there's a little one with it, like a hundred pounder with it. And uh, started getting close. Just kind of just cruising like she wasn't even concerned. And then uh, she realized something was wrong and took off and just went nuts. So, let's see if we can get her, it's a nice fish. That was pretty rad though, that was really cool. The little one was all lit up, swimming around it while we were on it, on the leader. Pretty rad. Basically just changing the angles and stuff, trying to confuse the fish, Got get it. it out of its habit. Got it. Once they get in a habit like that, they know which way to pull and they just do it. And sometimes they just kick your ass regardless. Get pissed. That's all right. We want this thing to get pissed and come start coming back up.